Hello again, a new day, and I have to show you something, you know. A few days ago, my trusty Electro Voice AMD767 just gave up, you know. This is the, this is the capsule inside the microphone. I was trying to fix it. There was no chance to do that. So, being used to this kind of microphone for more than 15 years or something, I was really, really anxious to, to get me a replacement. And uh, I can say that with a very good price, I found something even better. So, this is an ElectroVoice Air 2 receiver with a TU uh, handheld transmitter with ND676 in my case. Super cardioid microphone, very nice, it's rejecting, how can I say, the outside sounds. So uh, it's very comfortable, it's uh, over molded worm grip handle, it's kind of rubber here. Also, this, this guy, uh, because it have this uh, pattern it's reducing the noises and the ambience around you know and it's also reducing the feedback you know I can really tell you that this microphone of mine this one this one you know it was much better about feedback than uh, sure SM 58 a or doesn't matter you know because, because this is a super cardio it's straight in the front okay so now let's talk a little bit about the receiver Air E2, uh, it covers uh, 1,112 channels, I, re I recall. You're right, possible channels. It have a synthesized uh, PLL receiver with two antennas. Let me show you. We got two antennas right here. That's a true diversity. And also we have an XLR output and uh, a line output too with a um, potentiometer here to have different uh, gains. What's nice about this, I never saw that before, the power supply have a switch on the wire. I never saw this before. Funny. Okay. But also a power in right here. You see, there are a lot of uh, reviews already because this is a pretty old system. I believe it's back in 2010 or something. Tell me what I want to do as long as we have a battery already, a pretty good battery in fact. Let me see about the range. That's why I'm going downstairs around my house and uh, you see the recorder it's running now we have sound there already and let's see about the range so let's go downstairs we have a pretty uh, pretty rough cement up here this is cement with iron you know strong uh, somehow it's kind of area of isolation and let's go into the garden here we are okay so at the end of my house it's like 20 meters maybe more 25 meters here we are, here we are, talking about my garden. Let me show you my grape yard there, a small grape yard. This is my wife, Roses. Beautiful Roses, isn't that? So that's my <laughs> little grape yard. And we are maybe like 30, more, 40 meters or something downstairs in the courtyard i'm really curious if the microphone could held this uh, distance could manage to have a kind of uh, 
transmission, reception or something. That should be interesting to know. Like I said before, I'm not sure if this uh, if this system is uh, digital or analog. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything uh, related to this. What kind of technology? Except that there is a digital true diversity. What that means, I don't know. So let's turn to practice things more than talking technology or whatever. And here I am back in my office. And uh, okay, people back in the office, let's have a look at the footage before. Let's have a very careful listening. Here we are, here we are talking about my garden let me show you my can you hear the drops there here we are here we are talking about my garden let me show you my graveyard there a small graveyard here we are here we are talking about my garden let me show you my you know what's funny uh the system it's very quiet the noise you know the background noise and uh, the only noise of the system, I'm talking that classic hiss, it's not there, I can't hear it. Here we have two alternatives, let's call it. First, this can be a digital system, that means that everything, you know, the sound, the audio from the microphone, the signal from the microphone, it's sampled into numbers, pumped into a memory, then uh, processed and sent to the receiver and uh, that should be really interesting. I couldn't find any information about that or a very nice squelch system. What is squelch? It's a system which realize when the signal from the transmitter, from the handheld transmitter, from the transmitter, it's falling or it's fading and then effectively turns the volume down. It's like having your own mix or something, but reacting in a split of a second. You know, you can't hear the hiss, you can't hear anything. No artifacts. It's just boom, muting the microphone. And I know the receiver have a squelch level. And that means that the system is analog, but with a very nice squelch function. We have here a graveyard there, a small graveyard. This is my wife Roses, beautiful Roses. And so, that, so that's my <laughs> little graveyard. And we are maybe like 30, more, 40 meters or something. Anyway. Downstairs in the... Another, another drop here. Downstairs. Downsteppers. Okay. Downstep. Downsteppers in the you, you microphone. Can't, you can't even notice that. Anyway, I wish to know your opinion about it. Is this a digital system or it's a analog? Very well done. Being an analog, maybe this explains the range. And what I was trying to do, in fact, is to replace this uh, broken capsule into my uh, stage microphone, so <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm, I'm in doubt of uh, ruining this beautiful set. You know, it's working, it's, it's great. We'll, uh, we'll see about the quality of the sound after I'm doing all this video, putting together uh, everything, and I'm gonna use the sound recorded by my uh, recorder software here okay well i hope it's interesting and uh, see you soon enjoy the summer beautiful weather and uh, like always you know if you like this please subscribe please like and uh, most of all have fun bye bye